All right. Welcome to Scrubcast. Uh, today, we are going to be covering the topic of to what extent does a company have the exclusive right to an idea? I think you should start off with uh, introducing everyone else first, isn't it? We can do the intros after that. Uh, all right, fine, whatever. So go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh okay. I'm Gaffer. Uh, Can you, uh say that again, please. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. I'm Gaffer. Uh, I'm a dude who from the internet writes scripts and stuff. Uh, not feeling very well this week, so if I don't speak a lot, that don't mind me. Um, over to my wonderful hosts. Uh, Pino, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi. Uh, I'm Pino. Uh, I guess I'm the special guest this week. Uh, I'm usually here. If not, I won't be here. Uh, I don't do a lot. That, I don't do a lot on the internet, but maybe one day I will. Maybe. Cool. Maybe. Alright, go ahead, Deesley. Hi, I'm Deesley. I do reviews, first impressions, let's play, all that good stuff, and I'm, I'm one of the hosts in the Scrubcast. All right, and I am the host for today, Hyosho. I am just an internet streamer occasionally. And let's begin. Thank so, you for having me, by the way. And no problem, man. It's great to have you on. Hopefully you sure? you'll be here more often. Oh, I hope so. But I have such a very chaotic schedule. <laughs> no, that's fine. Life happens. Yes, it does. All right, so what do you guys think about the topic of this week's uh, podcast? First off, I think I should give a bit of context to this or why I chose this specific topic. Um, uh, I think last week we talked about um, how Fortnite got this new Battle Royale mode. Um, do you guys remember that? Not yep. really, but uh, I know about the topic, so. Yeah, so basically it was... Um, Basically, a copy of PUBG, or uh, PUBG's like you know arena style mode, mm -hmm. and um, basically uh, the guys, uh, the company that made PUBG, basically threw like a ton of shade at um, Epic, the guys who are making Fortnite, and yeah. are uh, very um, are lacing that with like a threat of copy of 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 take of lawsuit. And I just thought, how, what, to what extent would um, uh, the um, the uh, the company behind Players Unknown Battleground uh, would have over the style of um, arena of like arena deathmatch battle royale? All right. So, um, to clarify a bit, the game mode he is talking about is basically just a survival crafting kind of thing yeah like a like a battle royale kind of thing there's nothing particularly unique about it in any way shape or form mm. yes but there's nothing PUBG, unique about it yes, but it's PUBG an idea did, that's been done before yes but PUBG, uh, the person behind PUBG was the person who did initially um create that that um Specific rendition specific of it. Specific style. No, no, not just specific rendition of it. No, original. It's it a orig crafting survival deathmatch kind of thing. Other yeah. games have done it, but it had originated from an Armor Three mod, and then the guy, uh, players unknown, uh, created it uh, as a full-on game in PUBG. So, right. um, so technically, he originally did create this style of. Did he ever game. patent it, or did he ever claim copyright on it? Well, well, I mean, I mean, exactly. This is why I'm having this. Where I chose this topic, it would give us a lot of freedom to discuss how, to what extent, would does does a company or or someone own an idea that they may, even if they didn't copyright it, to what extent does it become transformative enough for another? Um, company to have take its own spin on it. It's a really good question. I don't think they have any 
any ground for the copyright in this case or in, in any any other case here's the thing i agree with you on that fact um because um the game mode which i did actually play um the fortnite version is different enough to be classified as its own thing but now uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop you for a moment. Yeah. When you say different enough, what do you mean exactly? Well, a huge um, uh, core of, of Fortnite's. Uh, let me clarify that even further. As someone who has never played either of them, how would you describe their differences? Uh, well, a uh, core. Uh, well, I mean. I mean, time. I've seen gameplay from both of them. Yeah. And they look. Basically the same. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe their differences? I mean, the two, there's two big differences. One can be... Art style. That's the big one. Oh, art style and, 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 and um, the way it presents its game, the game, it's all about... It, there's a lot of, like, a charm that Players Unknown doesn't have... Uh, Players Unknown Battleground doesn't have. Like a... Oh. a I don't know, it's, it's quite difficult to describe, but another thing is that, um, there's a lot more strategy, I would say, in Fortnite's version because a lot of uh, the core gameplay is also about crafting buildings, which can also be used in that mode. It's, it's, it's very odd, and I didn't think it would work at first, but it, it really does, and it adds to a lot of strategy. And I was just that that's why I think it's different enough. But what the question I'm posing here is what to what extent what what's the differences a game has to make to make it different enough? Well uh no I one owns the genre and that's never going to change mm -hmm. as long as the market is the way it is. Mm -hmm. So this is basically just a Online shoot 'em up kind of thing, right? That would mm -hmm. be the, but, but it's, it's the general genre that these games fall under. Mm -hmm. Like first person or third person online shooter type mm -hmm. survival games. Mm -hmm. You can't claim to own anything pertaining to the genre itself because that's not how genres work. Yeah, it's It'd like be like things. whoever made the first platformer technically owns the genre of platformers, and no one afterwards would be able to make a platformer without directly ripping them off. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the kind of uh, argument you're trying to make here, or that uh, Players Underground, uh, whatever, is trying to make here. I mean, sure, the games are remarkably similar, but they are still both games in a genre, so. Mm -hmm. Which, well, I, I I'd like to say that uh, first of all, the 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 genre between um Fortnite's core game, not this gaming mode, but its core game, and what players on our battleground is is distinctly different. Um, well, if this is just a minor game mode or whatever, then yeah. it's not even an issue to begin with because mm -hmm. it's not but the I, main I, draw of the but, game. Yes, I agree, but I think the biggest problem with that is uh, Fortnite, Fortnite's version is free, which would take a lot of potential customers of PUBG. It's free? Possibly... Isn't it in early access, though? No, no, no. The, the game itself is in early access, but this mode it is free to download and play. I might have to download it. <laughs> is exactly, the main exactly. game free? No. And okay, do you need to own the main game to play no, this? No, you don't. This okay. is wonderful. I'm so this is kind of like a uh, a spinoff, if you will. It's not yes. actually part of the game because you don't need the main yeah, game. Yeah, it's basically to play it. like the H one Z one. What the fuck is it called? King of the Kill. King of the Kill. Yeah. King of the yeah. Kill. Oh That's the one. All but right. the basic basic problem with this claim is that. Uh, PUBG is like the top dog at this moment, and uh, the 
they're they they're are worried very that feeling... their customers are going to leave them for something Dude, free don't, and don't, don't, possibly don't better. interrupt me. Sorry. Please. They're threatened by this new thing, which is... Let's say it's a copy, it's a clone. Why are they feeling so threatened? If, they, if, if you think something is going to win, win you over just being a copy of yourself, then you need to do better. Mm -hmm. That's just how it goes. You can't... Uh, uh, how you say? It? You can't kill the competition by killing the competition without improving yourself. It's like uh, the same thing happens in YouTube. People make similar series, but they won't succeed unless they do it better than the original. That's true. that's how genres work. Well, they, someone makes a game it becomes a genre and uh, other people other games try to beat that game by being better mm -hmm. if they're it, the exact same or in some cases even worse they they won't succeed and i don't think the main game should worry at all but it, in this case they just gave Fortnite, like, a ton of free publicity. Well, they also technically gave themselves free publicity, too, so... They don't need it. Hey, That's the any point. publicity is good publicity. I mean, it's player unknowns, Battleground. Okay. They don't need the publicity, l like Fortnite does. Before this st story broke, um... Did you see them popping up in the news for like the last week or so? I read it on Reddit somewhere about this issue, and then I kind of just... No, I mean like before the issue. Before Did the issue? Did you like see Frontline. anything about either game or company? Who the fuck reads news? Uh, A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I Guilty know about touch. the game. I don't... I mean, seek news about the game. Well, here's the thing. I've seen here's news the about I'm the game. Here's the point I'm trying to make, okay? Here's the point. When a game is popular and then people just assume it'll just stay popular or whatever, people stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. And when you stop talking about it, it stops being popular. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this but is that's a way not the case for people with, to get... It's not the case with player unknown sub Battleground. It's, it's still gaining momentum. But you say so. that, but before this story broke, I hadn't heard a damn before, thing about uh, the game yeah. for like a month. A month? Before this <laughs> like story broke, no one had heard about Fortnite. Literally, I'm... no one had heard about their competition. They just gave their competition a lot of free publicity, yeah. which will hurt themselves. Yes, That's not smart. But they also got themselves back into the spotlight, even as an, a villain in this case. That's yeah, what I'm guess. saying. But but here the argument that any publicity is is um, any publicity is good good publicity. Any any press is good press is basically yeah, yeah, what I'm saying. It. Yeah, that's not. I don't think that applies here because it gets it people makes, to uh, um, research, basically. Like yeah, but, in, but in this no, 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 no. In this case, they're just, oh my god, we have a free compet competitor. Yep. Go check them out. Like they're actually shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, I agree by complaining with about this thing. Mm -hmm. If they're making Fortnite such a threat, then uh, they're just <laughs> pointing the finger at that game is a threat. We need to do something about it. They're copying us. Yeah, are they doing it better? Well, it's free. Yeah. They don't have to pay 30 bucks for it. So, in this case, the publicity isn't the good publicity. They're basically telling people, yeah, don't play our game. There's a free one. And it's a clone of, a, a clone of ours. It's well, I mean, insane how stupid they act in this case. By this point, I would reckon everyone who... Uh was going to play either game would have it already so you know i'm i'm gonna play free fortnite no i mean that's because fine i didn't know it's free 
I, I understand that. I've but... played PUBG like what? 28 hours, but in, uh, I'm gonna play Fortnite after this right. this podcast is over <laughs> because Enjoy I didn't it. know I didn't know it was a free game. Enjoy now I it, know man. it's a free game. Fucking enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, Maybe and if I if I wouldn't have either of the games, podcast. I'd probably go with the Fortnite to try it out because why the fuck not? It's free. Yeah, but um, I'm not gonna pay thirty bucks for a PUBG. I think it's forty because there's a free free clone available. Didn't you already pay for it though? I did, but if I didn't, okay. That's the point. By this if point, I, you'd think if anyone who's going to play uh, the game would have already bought it. Actually, no. There's a lot of people who want to just play didn't Player Underground on... and it hasn't or bought they, it yet. Or maybe they don't have any money. I wanted to play it. I actually bought uh, PUBG what, like two weeks ago. And I wasn't very satisfied with uh, some of the gameplay. So I just I stopped. I like got a refund. And now that I know that there's a free uh, frontline that's sort of like uh, Players Unknown Battlegrounds, I'm actually a little more interested in frontline than uh, uh, you know, up right now. Man, in well, fairness, if you're looking for a different experience, you're going to be disappointed because <laughs> it's basically the same. Oh, I mean, but I like it. Just more crafting. <laughs> yeah. But let's let's um, broaden broaden the scope and let's 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 go back to the actual topic at hand. Yeah. If if how. What like um, what are the, how how far do those differences need to be made to because if if they made a carbon copy of a game like literally the same thing just change the art style then that wouldn't that I think they would be able to say if, actually no don't do that well but, if the games are literally the same but the art style is different. And they are technically different. There is no, oh, you need to stop copying us. That's not how that works. But I would say that. I mean, you could look at all of the platformers in general. Most of them yeah, play yeah, pretty to... similarly. <laughs> but, but you'll never was... see one or the other being like holding it over everyone else's heads or anything like that. I mean, we do have some that are, like, better than others, obviously. I mean, yeah, but you'll never see the company who made those lording over the other or other uh, devs being like, no, nah, you can't make platformers. Get rid of well, them. Well, I mean... But I, I feel it, like a, a big difference with platformers is a lot of that has to do with how um, a character, for lack of a better term, feels, how the, the weight and the control you have over it and as you see, if you play loads of different platformers, they all feel different and distinct. Even if level design is identical, they all feel different enough to um, to be unique. And if you're having a carbon copy of level design and not accommodating, or if you have different types of um, feels for a character and you're not accommodating for level design, then you've made a bad platformer and therefore um, you wouldn't have to, um, as no one would have to sue you or anything because you've made a bad game. So the plat for a platformer specifically, and a lot of other game types, that doesn't really hold too much weight because it's very um, reliant on controls, which are different for. All right, which well, are hard um, to replicate. To continue on your. Uh... Uh, bit tangent there. Um, another genre that is basically the same would be sports. They're all based on an actual sport. There's little variation in how the games play. Would you consider them all copying each other or the base sport that they're based on? Well, actually, that has come up a ton of times. Like, for example, um, FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer, Konami and uh, EA, have always clashed because they both ha uh, have um, really big football licenses. Um, soccer. You talking about soccer or actual football? Football. Uh, 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 well, football it's, football it's football. Actual football. football. Okay. <laughs> Three out of four. Let me rephrase this: American football or uh, the rest of the world's football? The rest of the, the world. Rest of the, the world. rest of the world football. 
Okay. I, I figure that most of the people watching this are likely in America, so yeah, we need three, to clarify. Three out of four of us right. call so, it football. I'm it's just so question of the day. Where are you from? Where are you from, and do you call it <laughs> football or soccer? Below. I'm just saying, though, most Americans likely know of the rest of the world so uh, football as soccer. Fine, so I'm just clarifying, that's all. Oh, so you right. say uh, FIFA, and it's like, yeah, I can see that. They're yeah. all basically the same game. At least all yeah. the ones I've seen. It's true, but n none of them are like claiming ownership like we have here with uh, good old pub. Well, I mean, yeah, but like if any of them claimed ownership, then something else would happen where they'd probably get their ass handed to them by the actual sport itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think FIFA actually cares like the actual soccer association would care. Actually, they want the in, money. I, it, I would think yeah. they would, mm. to be honest. Because, because, um, uh, probably not over there in they the States. They get paid for royalties to having the, uh, characters and the names and all that in it. Mm. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> do you see that? I see that. <laughs> I do see that. What exactly is that? <laughs> it's our democratic. Up on Analytics screen, from well, our audience. last podcast. Alright. It's like, uh, Finland. Three years that most of it would be from... Finland. We're calling it football. We're calling it football. We're well, you still have football. to clarify because that's a, a major portion, not all of it, but a major portion knows it as soccer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Why, why don't we just call your version of football American rugby? Because that's or not exactly American what football. it is. Because, because that's we just call it American, American football. football. That's what it's called. We could call it the metric system. We could call it the American metric system. We could call it... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it's called yes. American football because there's another game called football. Look, us Americans, we just have, like, we just want to be different, all right? We Here's just... the thing. Why would you have a game called football when you barely kick the ball? It's what so are you talking stupid. about? People kick the ball all the time. They kick what? it in American football. Well, yeah, for the for uh, it's I guess more like point. an hand egg. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's you, shaped you... like an egg. You hold it in your hand. It's a pig so skin. It's a hand egg. You can. You can also um, kick it, oh and you gosh. can throw with. Yeah, yes. it's a throwing hand egg. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't watch American football so much, so I'm a little lost. <laughs> it's fine. It's not that important. This You're is right. just a tangent. No, a, this a nice is important. Tip. This is a very important. American football <laughs> is stupid and should be renamed. <laughs> You're <laughs> stupid and should be renamed. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, named yeah, after yeah. a snack cake. Choose your side. Extra, hashtag... extra. Read all about it. Hashtag, uh, hashtag America. Hashtag the rest of the world. But anyways, back to the point on hand. Right. What were we talking about? We were, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about uh, when does it uh, reach copyright level on an well, idea? If you want to go a little further on this thing, I, I remember a couple of years ago, I know that uh, the big, you know, the big uh, game, mobile game, Candy Crush, they wanted to trademark the word candy. For some reason, <laughs> so I'm gonna say that's a little too far. Uh, so, like, I, I guess I can understand what uh, PUBG is trying to do, uh, but I also feel a little disgusted by it because it reminds me of when when Candy Crush wanted to trademark the word candy. That also reminds me of when uh, this fucking uh, what were they named? It, it's uh, unimportant. They tried to uh, copyright the word React. Oh right, the fine oh, bros. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Fine yeah. Brothers. yeah. Oh yeah, man, I almost forgot about that. Jeez. Never forget. <laughs> well, thank you, Yosho. <laughs> you just oh, such a dark time. But um, yeah. So, People like, who try to copyright a word like that is just no. You can't do that, man. Yeah. So, so. Is that where we're drawing the line in the sand? You can't copyright words well that's one generic words like that to describe words. a yeah. lot but yeah. I, I feel like i feel like it could go way further like you can't copy um uh distinct we, we should it shouldn't be like well here's the thing in the games industry 
Imitation is the serious form of flattery. Mm -hmm. It is also a way to jump on the bandwagon to uh, true, rake in the dough. True, very true. Just like the look at what the, happened with Call of Duty. Look at what happened with Flappy Bird. I have no idea what that is. Flap what? Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. What? The Never biggest sensation it. on mobile? Never heard okay. of it. What? So Seriously? basically, history time. When you, say, when you say look at Call of Duty, think what game, what first person shooter is the most sold game at the moment? Well, I believe that's Call of Duty still. Yeah, because if you copy shit and can't do it better, you won't succeed. Mm -hmm. That's just how it goes. I mean, yeah. But like, when you uh, try to say that you just can't copy other people or whatever, or take inspiration from it, it's like, why? Why can't you take inspiration from a game and make something similar? No, you can. It's just that it has to be different enough to stand on its own. If it doesn't, it, it obviously failed what it wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, because there's the original one, which would be better one. Yeah. Well, you say that, but like, that'd be kind of like saying... Mega Man X isn't quite the original, so it fails. Well, I mean, that's the, uh... That's just no, 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 that's a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's like, it upgrade. still has to... I don't know, man. Mega Man X is an upgrade to the Mega Man, Mega Man games. Uh, they play a little differently. Yeah, yeah, but it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's called Mega Man X, not regular Mega Man. Yeah. But that's just an example. I mean, you could say... Uh, Shovel Knight did a lot of things correct than other platformers did. I actually ha hold Shovel Knight in a higher regard than the other previous platformer games. And a lot of people call Shovel Knight another form of Mega Man. Yeah. So it's like... Well, I, I'm not, I don't see myself shooting, you know, shooting little... Uh, what is it? Bullets out of my hand? I don't see... Little lemons. <laughs> little lemons. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't see I don't see myself shooting those out of the hands. I I see that it's not the typical. Oh, I've got to I've got like a window of like five like worlds that I can go to, and then you know it's it it takes the best parts of every other platformer out there and just meshes it into one, which is why I consider it being you know one of the best because it just does so many things right. All right. Um. Gaffa had to leave because of technical issues. Mm. We'll see if he can come back later, but um, I'll pour one not out for my friend. Good. Yeah, everyone, pour one out for Gaffa. Everyone, do it right now. <sighs> oh, that carpet is gonna need to be Ooh, okay. But uh, yeah, let's. For example, Minecraft has had like a million and one copycats. And none of those have reached at to any. So they mm -hmm. haven't got any success. Is Roblox they a just, copycat? It those depends are, those on what you define as a Minecraft. copy. Yeah. Like, um, well, there's a lot of copies, like I mean, yeah. carbon copies. I know, but like uh, there are also games that are directly inspired by the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The art either style. art those style or uh, genre itself. Yeah, like uh, Terraria is insanely popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that's like um, it's Minecraft. different, but it's basically two D Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. there's also yeah. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders, mm -hmm. which is Dragon Quest inspired Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, and those are two really good games or game series in the case of Dragon Quest because there's a second one. Mm -hmm. There's soon going to be another Terraria too, so I guess you could say that's a series also. Wait, what? Yeah, there's they're making a sequel for Terraria. Ooh. That sounds wonderful. But the, but like in the cases of I'm oh, sorry, you first. For a genre to evolve, you need to have a ground basis which people or other games can use as base, mm -hmm. and you can't do it if if the original game has some kind of copyright leverage on the competition. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes and no. I mean, 
that's where bootlegs and shit like that comes in. Oh so. no, <laughs> we're gonna go into bootleg territory now. Well, why wouldn't we? Oh, there's so many. I mean, look there. at what so happened many... with uh, the relatively recent Metroid Two remake. All right, I actually got that in the mail yesterday. It's a wonderful, fantastic game. Well, there's the official one no that Nintendo that uh, produced, and then there's the uh, fan version of it. Mm-hmm. And we all know the controversy that happened with that. Nintendo had to take down the... They didn't remake. have to. They did because it was mostly uh, pretty well known. If uh, people weren't talking about it so much, they wouldn't have known. I mean, they... They also... wouldn't have known. That's true. I mean, they're doing the same thing with uh, Mario 64 Online, I think. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. In Mario 64 Online's case, they basically can't do anything mm. to the actual program that is r running. Because, because it's not their program or whatever, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't modify the code of the original game at all. It's just an add-on for the emulator. Huh. Well, and here's it it... my issue with that. Is it yeah. using a ROM to enhance something? Or is it using the, uh, the game itself to do something different? What do you mean? I have no idea about what uh, Mario 64 Online is, so I'm, I want to know, so, like, how is it changing it? It's not changing the game, but it's basically... It's adding. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't affect the ROM. So, like, everything is the same, right? If that's yeah, my yeah. understanding. And you're able to play with, you know, three other people, I believe? Right? Can... I think it's like 23. Okay, you can play as 23 other people at the same time. Alright, that sounds more like a ROM hack than an actual, like, new game. But in ROM hacks, you hack the game. Mm. I mean, yeah, but isn't this technically what's going on here? You're hacking no. the game to allow multiplayer. No, no. That's, that's the only reason why Nintendo can't do anything with the, with the mod. Because it hasn't actually changed, changed the game. About. The game, yeah. the game, you know. It doesn't level. change the case. It's do it doesn't actually do anything with the code. Mm. It just uh, applies it. Uh, apply it just works with the it allows, emulation uh, program. It allows program. Um, the emulator to yeah change something. The emulator is doing it, not the game itself. Mm -hmm. I don't think it, it's even the emulator that's doing anything to the game code it's just an how do you say it, it's, a plugin yeah it's a plugin for the n64 emulator so like if you have that specific file that lets you play uh mario online you just i yeah. guess click and drag it into this the specific area it needs to go and then bam you have it right is that kind of what i'm understanding no, no? you just it's you basically run, you run it and it, then it that's it. Hooks the, okay. No, no, no. You run the you run the application. You either create a server or you join a server. Then you start the emulator and start the game, and okay. you're in the game. Same game. So okay, it basically hooks the emulator to work through the uh, online program. Okay. Which is. So it never actually does anything to the code Nintendo made. Okay. And that's why Nintendo can't do anything about it. Hmm. They can just shoot down any, anything related to 64 online because they know it's emulated. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. Technically, emulators aren't illegal themselves either. Yeah, so. they aren't. Hmm. The ROMs are, though. The uh, ROM files themselves are illegal to uh, own. Are they? Yeah. I believe so. Oh. It's um, illegal to own a ROM, but it's not illegal to have an emulator. Interesting. It's just, it's really minor. 
So you're never likely going to be hit for anything about owning a ROM. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, like, uh, making a YouTube video about it. I doubt that they'll do anything you. against you. Because it, oh, they'd have to prove... Nintendo, ha Nintendo has dmca the video that had the links for the 64 online. That's yeah. probably... It might be because they're uh, showing, you know, Super the Mario game 64. itself. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. That's, that's what but, I mean. They can but if only... you do like a let's play of a ROM hack or like a ROM itself, they can't prove whether it's a ROM or not. That's but what I'm saying. But if you use the 64 online, then they can They would know prove then, it's yeah. a ROM. Yeah. In that case, that's they would they know. That's why they can, yeah. But in other and cases, they when you're just it. doing like a let's play or something. Like in the case of uh, the Beard Brothers playing Mother 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would be able to tell it's a ROM, uh, a ROM because it was it's patched. In English. But like, other than that, it was a patch. Hell, I it was a we fan did patch. A, we did a, a, a let's play series of <laughs> Castlevania Two that was translated in Finnish. <laughs> it was pretty freaking sweet. I would imagine. Uh, this what the is, hell was uh, that guy's the adventure name? Of, it was... uh, Simon or something? Simon's, Simon's Quest? Quest. Yeah. All right. Isn't that generally regarded as the worst Castlevania? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of, of it... I think a lot of it has to do with uh, James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. <laughs> I thought a... the main criticism of it was the obscenely long, unskippable... Uh, Changing from night to day and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those uh, things. Well, there's uh, what it's called reduxes or not remasters, uh, but revisions of the game that fix that. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Like in the Finnish, Finnish translation version, the night and day <laughs> didn't have a pop up. It just happened. All right. So a lot of those things were fixed i think it, the pop-up would have been game. so bad if you could just like instantly brush it away with a button yeah the original game had some flaws but if you play uh, a uh, revisioned game or redux or uh, whatever are, those are called it's pretty fun i think i it... really enjoyed castlevania 2 more than i enjoyed castlevania 1 or 3 which is, uh, I think, heresy for some people. I don't remember which three is. It's basically one. <laughs> as, as you probably can tell, I don't... I haven't really ever played all but, like, one or two Castlevania games, so... I have not stepped foot into the Castlevania universe just yet, so I am also very quiet during this section. <laughs> I've played one you on should, the DS or the Game Boy Advance. You should get, if you have a Xbox 360 or PS3 or <laughs> Xbox One, you should get the Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Symphony it's of the Night. It's a freaking amazing game. Didn't the... Uh, one of the best games ever made. Okay. I feel like I saw some gameplay, at least for that one. And I do know the one for the DS you were talking about, uh, Yosho. I actually, I think, years ago, played it at a GameStop. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think there is like a, quite a few uh, handheld ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, I think it's called Harmony of Desp Despair. And I, I don't of remember Sorrow. the name. I, I'll be honest. It's been I, years. I got, I, the, I got those from the Wii U eShop. I, I think I was like 14 when I played it. So that was like a long time ago. Yeah, Wii U eShop has some GBA games. Yeah, they have an okay selection. I'll just wait yeah. until, you know, it comes on the Switch. <laughs> when it ever does. When it, yeah, when it ever does. Hashtag virtual console for Switch. Oh, one day, man. One hashtag day. get on it, fucking Nintendo. One day. One day. Maybe not this year. Maybe not even next year. Well, I have a feeling we might see it pop up after the uh, free year of Wi-Fi thing is over. Oh, yeah, definitely. Once their internet services start, that's when 
we'll most likely get closer to virtual console. Yeah, maybe. Wait, the internet stuff isn't even up yet. Yeah, it no, is. it's free right now. So like, you can yeah, play it's a, for free. Oh, you mean the it's a global it's, free trial uh, run or whatever. Oh shit! I yeah. think in November is when it goes paid, and and it's like what sixteen dollars for a year. I oh think. My gosh. I, I can't wait for Mario to see with micro transactions. I doubt they'll do that. I don't think they would. They wouldn't do that to Mario. What other Nintendo game do you know has micro transactions? Um, None, because the internet capabilities for that console sucked. Yes. Well, I <laughs> like mean, we do, we do have. That's why most publishers abandoned Wii U. They that's couldn't not sell why. like it. It's not because the internet. It's because the console was hard to develop for, and it didn't sell well. Yeah, and there was no way to support the game after it was released. Uh, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I've seen some games get DLC, like Xenoblade Chronicles X. The uh, Japanese version got three DLCs the that American. we got for free with oh. the actual final game. Wonderful. So I've seen it happen, but it is pretty fucking rare. Hmm. Well, yeah, but I think there was a. Uh, I I don't know if you need to get everything from the eShop beforehand. You can't add them as uh, like in other consoles. You can have a, a buy button in the game, and it just does it easily. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head if any Wii U game has microtransactions or Are like talking about, I don't um, think any has just or DLC in, or anything general, like that or like Nintendo properties with uh, DLC because uh, there I'm are a few sure. because um, the game uh, One Piece Unlimited World Red has a DLC kind of page and it's it's in the same game itself and you can just buy like costume packs or like extra uh mission monster hunter esque missions. But is it no, microtransactions or is it that's just more DLC instead. Okay. So you use actual money and not some stupid bullshit uh like in game money. Silvers like in Destiny Two. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, what what the fuck was it? Yeah, it was silver. Oh my gosh. That's just, that's just the worst. It's like, it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't make the uh, actual microtransactions terrible. Mm. But they've learned that microtransactions, uh, albeit very disgusting sometimes, uh, will make them money. I just don't like having microtransactions in a game you pay for. Yeah, me neither. That's a freemium market, not a... Yeah. A triple A full price bullshit yeah. market. It's like if so, do you know how popular uh, Destiny Two would be if it was free to play with more microtransactions? Oh, I'd be. I'd, I'd probably buy a PS4. <laughs> it's coming to PC. Yeah. Uh, I think mid October. Oh my! Yeah, about a month from. You'll now. You'll need a Battle.net account though. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So you know you'll have well, everyone uh, has everyone has a BattleNet account these days. Not everyone. Not me. It's mostly people who uh, like Overwatch or StarCraft Two or whatever. World of Warcraft, Diablo Three. Fuck Hearts, those Stone, games. Heroes they don't the exist. Sun. This explains why I have no BattleNet ID. <laughs> it's not that hard to make, so you know whatever. Yeah, and the app is pretty good. Huh. It's okay. It's well, confusing yeah. for in some ways. I feel like we've sh we've strayed. Like how? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to the initial topic at hand. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to cover on the? Uh, I think copyright. I think shenanigans? PUBG is just being a little too overprotective for the thing. It's like it's not. The, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Yes, it's fun. Yes, streamers well, are streaming it on the daily. Yes, it's like... 
you know going up on the on the charts but like come on this is a this is just another smaller company that's main game isn't even focused on the you know the PUBG aspects like yeah it's not it's not a small company epic games oh, is not a small sorry, company sorry i forgot what uh didn't what they did. make the uh engine games. PUBG yeah. is on yeah yeah they made the engine yeah. unreal 4 that makes that PUBG is running. This makes it even more bullshit. <laughs> well, to be fair, I can kind of see where they're coming from. I mean, it's still scummy, but I can see where they're coming from. They're I mean, afraid yeah. their cash cow is going to crumble on them. And yeah, that, of course and that they are. that scares them. And I can see that. I they mean, uh, had a knee-jerk reaction out of fear. I don't know. It, yeah. It's... It's the greed, but man. I, it's just greed. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think they have any any ground for. Get, it it's just a stupid move from their part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. To even even acknowledge the Fortnite is uh, is just stupid. Why would you acknowledge that you have a competitor? Mm -hmm. That's like um, it's just free publicity for mm -hmm. Fortnite. Well, in Nothing some else. cases, you uh, you acknowledge a competitor to uh, show that you're not completely oblivious, yeah, or that you have yeah, respect yeah, for them. In that some could also cases. blow up in their faces. They're like, like oh, well, they're just you being say mean. that, but like the few well, times I see Sony they need to... uh, shake hands with Nintendo, that's like pretty humbling, to be honest. And it's kind of the but, same but in scenario. this case, but in this case, they didn't even be humble or yeah, like uh, uh, welcome them to the competition or anything like that. They were it was working a, like a little chihuahua. It was a complete <laughs> knee jerk reaction. I agree. Yeah, it was stupid. It was bad in hindsight. They did yeah, to. Yeah, they, uh, they did it like in the wrong way. They they showed that they are feeling threatened by them they yeah. the only way you can acknowledge your competition is by diminishing them like well welcome to the big leagues now we can handle the, the rest yeah we well, like, can just uh, you can scrape what we we do, we do. <laughs> you can have the if rest spill, yeah you can have the rest guys yeah and, this, and then basically just become something like they just want to one up the other uh, their, their competition now and it that would form a yeah. competition instead of this kind of like sour kind of feeling now that these two companies could have yeah yes i don't know uh, it just business business is business at the end of the day like all i know is they need to take their foot out of their mouths and like apologize <laughs> yeah. for being such total douchebags about this whole thing Very instead so. of doubling down like they did mm -hmm. but you know money is money money I, is money up until you double down so hard that you no longer make money i mean the 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 hardcore fans they're obviously just gonna stay they're just gonna be there forever right? how many yeah, of how regardless. many of the fans are hardcore though the and ones that play pretty every much. Day. And Streamers. does the game have microtransactions or a way to constantly no, earn money? I don't. Th I think they have uh, to a certain degree. I don't know if they have. Uh, the when they had the, what the fuck was it called? Some kind of esports event. They sold some loot crates, but uh, what I heard from or read that uh, there's uh, like an. Um, in-game currency at the moment yes like, there's in-game currency that you uh receive uh at the end of your basically run of the game so like if you die early on you'll get like i don't know a couple tokens or something i don't remember the currency exactly but if you win obviously you'll get a lot cash more. yeah oh. and uh, you I can buy that. loot crates mm -hmm. with those tokens or cash what you what you get from the matches and what i heard that they are uh, how you say it? They are giving though they're removing those so-called free free crates 
that you can earn by playing the game when the game launches and then you can only get those crates by microtransactions <laughs> can smart. you earn the currency used to buy them in game or is it just straight money well right now just in that game. yeah right now just in game but when it gets out of the early access i think i think i read that they're going to remove that part that and sounds then, completely uh bad and scummy yeah it, yeah. it does kind of why are these the guys players? popular because the game is fun. i don't know <laughs> as as somebody who watched a lot of people uh stream PUBG, I completely understand where the fun is, and the fun is usually just playing with others or having others with you when you play this game. And playing like, with other people is always better, but like that doesn't excuse a bad game from being a bad game. Well, Any game is made more fun with friends. This has been a yeah, commonly course. accepted fact. But it's not a bad game, that's the thing. It's an it's uh, like yeah, a right, game, it's a good game. Yeah, the it's game, not great. game isn't bad. Yeah. It's not it's great. Not, it, yeah. Just like Pony said. Yeah. It's just, it's there. It's for people's entertainment, and it's the current fad. You know, they'll end just like, God, how many Assassin's Creed games have we had already? Like 12? It'll end like Assassin's Creed or like Call of Duty, which we're kind of a little bit sick of, even though it's still on top. It'll end. And then their player base will just be stagnant for a while. The more content they yeah, add, it'll grow. It's like the arc. Arc player base it's like the what the hell was it called dead by daylight mm -hmm. it's a moments thing mm -hmm. and when it's done it's done yeah sure they, there's gonna be a lot of players still left there but yeah. uh, there there is going to be a new game and people are going to jump on it yeah maybe i mean yeah maybe there are times where there are new games in a genre, and then people still stick with the old shit, like uh, yeah. TF2 or Dota oh, 2. <laughs> Counter-Strike. Or Dota uh, 2 or yeah. other games. I mean, those are timeless classics, and they're also, like, big in the E-League scene, right? Like, they play... Yeah, eSports runs those, but the, for... for the, there was CS 1.6 for the long time, and then came CS Source, mm -hmm. and people stuck with the 1.6 for true. a long time, because there was an esports scene there, and it was just uh, I'm not gonna say it was a, it was a better game, but it was a better game, <laughs> and then came CS Go, and people still stuck with cs 1.6 hmm. and after they revamped the whole cs go and uh, made it what it is today only then the people started to shift from the old game to the new one at least their their shift was kind of gradual and nobody forced them to, like yeah. move i know there was this whole i believe it was with uh world of warcraft i believe like there was a whole like big thing uh, bunch of years ago when they were like shutting down like support for like a certain version of the game i'm not sure no, um they, they shut down uh, vanilla uh, a vanilla warcraft uh, private server mm -hmm. yeah private yeah. i was gonna say say pirate it's, private <laughs> it, it's basically the same thing it's a, yeah. it's a pirate server it's a pirate. but they shut down the va vanilla server basically mm. they the server yeah. Nostalris, or whatever it's specifically yeah. called, it's something like that. They had, I think, 1,200 people playing it on average, mm -hmm. with over a million accounts for it. And it was completely free. Yeah. And it was using the original game with slight bug fixes and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then Blizzard just went ahead and like Blizzard played. fucking took that shit down faster than you could say, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, when when they when some audience member asked about bringing a uh, a vanilla server for the for the paying customers, mm -hmm. they basically said you don't want that. Well, oh. 
I, I think what they that. specifically uh, also said in that is that it went against what their vision of the game is. Mm-hmm. And I can kind of get behind want... why that they said something like that. Is that sometimes mm-hmm. people don't fucking know what the hell they want, you know? Yeah. And this like, is a, this is a tricky thing. Vanilla about... Warcraft is not exactly a good experience. Mm hmm. But you know, it, it's 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 tricky with business and video games because like the the developers want to create something they want, but they also want something that the customers will enjoy. But if the customers are enjoying something <laughs> that you, I guess, technically don't enjoy, that's where this kind of, I guess, controversy things happen. I think mostly the controversy was that a decent small amount it was still a significant but it was small enough amount of people wanted a vanilla server and i guess a lot of people hated the new direction world of warcraft was going Mm -hmm. after one uh expansion that they did in particular i think it was cataclysm or something like that is that the one with a panda on the front i think so Mm. I remember hearing about a lot of people hating the pandas. (laughs) But uh, apparently after that, millions of people stopped playing the game. So, Mm -hmm. you know. It's a risky business. It's a risky business. It happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, in 2010. they, They were at the peak of 12 million players. And it's been going down since then, mm. and it jumped at the lowest. It was at six point eight million players, and then they released what the fuck was the last legions, and it peaked back at the at ten million players, and it's now at the five. Hmm. Well, so you gotta yeah. figure during the downtime between expansions. People likely have grinded out the story or whatever else, mm-hmm. all the content they felt like doing, and then they just leave the game. There are times in a MMO where you get dry spells. Yeah, but but for like for six years it was a rise, mm-hmm. and now it's just a slow decline. It's one mm-hmm. kind of like one decision a company makes could make or break the rest of their trajectory in a sense, and we well, can kind I don't of. Know. Like, well, they I mean, still got like what five million players playing it. It's true, but it was never. It's like again, like D Slay said, it it wasn't their peak. Like, I guess those numbers yeah. could like let them know, oh, we've got to, we did something wrong, or we got to change something. And if yeah. PUBG doesn't play their cards right, this being not too much of a similar example, but if like PUBG keeps doing stuff that I don't know, the players or people who enjoy the series don't agree with. For example, their little I, I'm the owner of this, you can't have it. Uh, then, you know, the numbers that they might have seen now, if it's a lot, they might not see at initial release. Yeah, uh, yeah. but like, I'm going to assume that people who are already playing it have paid for it, and that the people who have already paid for it get to keep their copy of it when it goes uh, I would imagine, on release. Yeah. yeah, and they'll probably be ahead of the game since if what these slay... Uh, says is will happen uh you know new players will kind of feel kind of like out of place with all these people with all these nice loots and they're like oh, i want this nice loots i'm gonna pay fifty dollars for all this <laughs> paying fifty dollars for loot that's mm. disgusting yeah it's, but it's true it's true well it's if you can get the loot mm-hmm. if you can get it just by paying fifty dollars and you get everything you want, yep. then I don't give a crap. Well, but if, if you, you can pay fifty dollars, but if you pay fifty dollars for fucking loot boxes <laughs> with no guarantees that you get what you want, that's shitty. Mm-hmm. Well, it depends on if there's a RNG element on the loot boxes. God, RNG. Because I've elements. seen, of course, there's RNG. some cases with a loot box where. You just get, like, whatever you want out of uh, a set or whatever. That is truly pay-to-win. 
if you can choose that it's great. it's only pay to win if it actually like provides a tangible benefit in the game itself right now is it only like aesthetics i don't know i actually don't remember any usually it is aesthetics. On a okay on i PUBG. might yeah on pubg i might have to yeah, ask it's, Garb. it's just aesthetics. like t-shirts okay. if it were more than just uh fucking <laughs> costumes and shit like that then people would probably be pissed and stop playing it out right yeah yes so they've really got to be careful about this like they really it's do just cosmetic stuff yeah. a freemium environment and a pay to uh play a game now that's a whole different topic that's like with all the mobile games the gotcha games and like oh god i don't want to start that but that'd be a good topic for now. hello shadow Maybe. of mordor Oh, I mean, no. Shadow of War. <laughs> I don't want to fucking Christ. Jeez, that is a big ass, like, clusterfuck. And I feel like that yeah. would make a topic all on its own. Oh I gosh. really want to play that game. It looks good. But I'm not gonna buy it. Because uh, uh, Warner Bros. is just being a dick. You really shouldn't even pirate it either, to be honest. I'm not gonna play it. I really want to play it, but I'm not gonna play it un unless they fix every shit decision no, they'd made. it's far too late for them to fix this shit. Th the uh, bad they're press is already there. They're going even deeper. <laughs> Nothing can stop them now. Oh, this man. is a matter of well, Warner Bros. being complete and total. Ass yeah, I don't ass. give up about the bad press. I give up. I give a rat's ass about the, the if they change everything mm -hmm. and make it better, then. Uh, Fine, I'll buy your game, but I'm not gonna buy at this rate. Hmm. That's just that's how it goes. If a company makes a shit decision, you need to show it by not buying it or boycotting it. But mm -hmm. if they reverse it, you have to basically reward them for doing the right thing. If you were going to buy it and you are not buying it because of something that if you're not, basically if if they change if the they if they do the right thing and you still you still still aren't going to buy it that's just being shitty yeah well not really because you don't have to buy every game that comes out it's all depending I mean, on what you're on if you boycott it for is. a reason if you boycott it boycott the product for a reason and the, the, you have, don't have a reason for that anymore. You then uh, you're have just to being stubborn. It. My reason is that. Yeah, I'm but, broke. The, but you're just being a douche. It but depends. It's like, in my case, I would. Uh, I'm broke. Say, okay. game, yeah, <laughs> say games uh, centering something, like major, or taking a, a function out in a localization or something like that oh and boy. i boycott it in the beginning i had no intention of buying said game to begin with okay. then you're not boycotting it <laughs> yeah you're I, just not going to buy it I'll you're not boycotting it. it i would be rallying other people to not buy it too because of the bad practice i mean that's what i mean by boycotting but intent or <laughs> I'm not saying Nintendo. I'm not saying, but said company. <laughs> I am saying Nintendo. Stop doing shit. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Nintendo? I knew it would come. Uh, said company, you know, has always been, you know, very uh, concerned with what they're they have in their games, especially well, in the old days. But you in know, the West, at least uh, in the West. Certain Nintendo of America is doing great. Yes, they're, they're the Japan. Cool. The Japan side is always the pain in the ass. Really Nint Japan itself is a different type of place. Yes. They live different ways. They they don't think the same way we do. Yeah, I know. Which is why I'm glad that their decision for the Switch have being a region free. That, that's good. That's a good in my book. Yeah, it was a pretty good decision. Also, making it uh, able to be charged with phone cables is pretty neat, too. Mm -hmm. Man, I haven't played okay. my Switch in a week. <laughs> you oh, should uh, cool. fix that.
I, sh- I should. I, I, before this week that I have not played it, it was all Sonic Mania. That's Either all that, or you can always, you know, give it to me. Wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. Mm, I don't know. You might want that Mario. I might, uh, what was that? You cut out. You might want that uh, Mario Odyssey bundle. Not really. What? Are you not excited for Mario Odyssey? I'm excited no. for the game. I just don't care about the bundle. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's a yeah, good point. I'm more excited for the uh, Xenoblade uh, uh, Chronicles 2 uh, Pro Controller. Ah, uh, yes. That looks nice. That yeah, might man. make me buy a Pro Controller. Because I'm always on the fence about Pro, pro Controllers. Because, like, the Joy-Cons aren't bad. They're pretty good. I believe the only case where you would want the Pro Controller over the Joy-Cons is if you... It's everything. No. (laughs) It's It's where... It's if you have... (laughs) It's if you have a game that, uh... How am I trying to say this? Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Uh... There is a, uh, there's an article in my mind that was talking about what uh, situations a pro controller would be better for. Hmm. Interesting. I think it would be games like Doom or uh, stuff Skyrim. like that. Yeah, if you want to play Skyrim on the Switch. Oh, totally, man. I want to just play a game on the go on... <laughs> No, I don't. I don't want to play Skyrim on the go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, for, like, I guess third-party games, uh, Joy, the, uh, Pro Controller would be better. Yeah, there's a couple of third-party games that I see would benefit from it. Plus, I believe, since the Pro Controller has Bluetooth compatibility, you can use it on your PC just fine. Oh, wonderful. And I don't think you need any drivers or anything to make it work i think i'm i think uh this podcast has told me i should invest in a pro controller (laughs) if anything else hey you should do that it's only 70 dollars oh right never mind i'm trying to learn i'm trying to be learned it here in the states (laughs) that actually uh 70 dollars for a controller that has everything included isn't too bad Mm -hmm. the uh X-Bone controller that I have currently was 50 but it didn't come with batteries or anything like that. Or the, uh, Just get a 360. Wireless. wireless. Uh, no, wired. Uh, wired. I wired want a one. fucking it's wired like... controller. I wanted wireless. Who the fuck wants wireless? I did. That's... It sucks. <laughs> it's hit or miss. It it's, lag. All, it's always... Your battery is slow. No. Please recharge. Like, shut the fuck up. I just want to play my game. I don't play it on an Xbox. I use it on my PC. And uh, I don't get that notification. I don't get easier. that notification. When it dies, it just dies. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. But yeah, I had to get a uh, wireless receptor and the battery pack separately. So, you know. That's why wired is the way to go. It's just one easy payment of something dollars. I I didn't want a wired controller though. That's true. And they don't sell. Get a small loan of one million dollars. I wish I could, but uh, (laughs) they don't sell 360 controllers anymore. Get a get a. They don't in uh, stores anyway. Do what I do. Get a third party one and then regret it afterwards. No, I I ain't buying third party. Fuck that shit. Get the MLG one. No. <laughs> no, there's I'm not, I'm dead serious. You're there's serious? an there's... MLG. No. There's an MLG controller. No. Why would I buy another controller when I already have one? You can never have enough. I yeah. don't have an Xbox and I don't play multiplayer games. Well, locally if you have on a PC. PS3. You can get the for PS3. I don't have a major console other than the Wii U. That's not a major console. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the. <laughs> it's a console. That's like the B console. Oh my god. I don't have a PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, or Xbox One. I have none of those. Okay. 
I also do not have a back. Switch. It's okay. A Switch isn't that good, I guess. Wink, yeah, wink, nudge, nudge. Give me a Switch, Pino. <laughs> oh, man. Are we done? I think at the end of the day, yeah, PUBG should just, should just apologize. They need to get their foot out of their mouths. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're done today. Um, that was the podcast? Yeah. I guess. How are you guys yeah. feeling after that? Uh, my mouth is dry and I need a drink. Do that. How about you, D Slay? How are you feeling? Yeah. Well, he's yeah. probably pretty yeah. tired. Yeah. All right. And I'm. Yeah, it's uh, it's like seven thirty oh. p.m. Oh. 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 You're not American. <laughs> what do you? Say? <laughs> I didn't say that. I just forgot what time it was for you. That's all. I only American remember the sensibilities. We only care seven about hours. ourselves. For, for some reason, I kid you not, I thought this was the Super Rewatch Bros we used to do. And oh, I was yeah. like, we never had voice chat on those. It's true, but we yeah, were we always there at like a time that D Slay was like dying of sleep. And I was like, oh, please, <laughs> you don't have to be here, but I'll, you know, I don't want you to be alone. And I, and I've never seen most of the Beard Bros episodes of, of way yonder. So I was like, this is a good chance as well. Why didn't you watch them when you first subscribed? Be uh, that's a good question. I think I subscribed around the time when Kaizo started. And so I, I was just... Kaizo Mario. I mean, so I, are we going to end this podcast or are we... We ended oh, it a while right. ago, so... No, we, we should ended. end it. Let's end it uh, correctly. Uh, I've been Pino. <laughs> go, watch, go watch Super Beard Bros. <laughs> go watch. Do you, Pino, do you have any uh, social media you want to shout out or whatever? Did you say Peanut? Pino. Pino. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's, I'm going to call my name. I'm going to change all my handles to Peanut eventually. All right. <laughs> you can find me at that. Peanut. Good luck with that. <laughs> if right, not, you can find me at Pino or Piney. I'll probably have to change my handles to that eventually. Uh, Whatever. Uh, and I'll be you, here from time to time. Do you have a Twitch or something? Or do you stream or have a YouTube channel? Uh, or whatever I you want to play? I stream very rarely. Um, I, I have a Twitter I could plug. Uh, I don't remember the Twitter handle, so I'll give you all that information next week. Just DM it to me later. Yes. It'll all be at the description below. That works. That works. Yeah. It makes this, yeah. makes this closing a little more bearable. Alright. Do you say anything you want to plug? No. Check my stuff. It's in the description. Alright. Oh, I know what I want to plug. Thanks. I want to plug in my wireless... No, my wired 360 controller. All right, have fun with that. Yes. Anyway, this has been the Scrubcast. Um, thank, thank you for joining you. us. Thanks for having me. Have Just... a good week. And yeah, stay frosty, my friends. <laughs>